so let us create a class called student again with some more functions to understand it better so class student and let us first declare the constructor function which is init which stands for initialization and give self comma name don't forget to add self and now let us say self name is equal to name and self dot attend is equal to zero the students initial attendance is zero and self dot marks is equal to empty list we are giving empty list and print welcome let us say anything to the school and dot format and inside that name name or self dot name both are same because we have instance now we can give it as name and so now let us see first execute it before adding further functions so now we can create a student one student one is equal to the class name and pass the name as let us say the same peter so welcome peter let us like this we can create any number of students student two let us say calling so now if you want to see the name of student one student two calling let us see the attendance student one dot attendance is zero let us see student one dot marks marks is a empty list now now let us write some more functionality to our class and then again we will see so let us define like add in marks add marks space and inside that self comma let us say m a m a stands for marks there is error and now self dot marks we will be adding marks to the list whenever user entered using this function add mark let us say add marks let it be we will be confused add marks okay so self dot marks dot there is a function called append and which will be adding to the list and we will be passing the value of mark and now let us define one more like let, let us update the attend day attend days is clf self and here self dot attend we are updating this whenever he will be in the class this meth uh, method will be executed and this will be increased so for this we will write plus is equal to 1 this is nothing but you have seen like uh, sum is equal to sum plus 1 instead of this you can also write plus is equal to 1 both are same and now let us declare one more get the average of the student avg once he entered the marks he will get the average we will be returning the average like 
sum of total marks total marks is self dot marks this is sum is also a function which will add all the uh, uh, integer values inside the list self dot marks all the values inside the world will be added so divided by the length length of the self dot marks so this will give actually give the length of the list so marks divided by the length will give the average so this is we have finished let us now create some student1 is equal to let us say s1 to save the time typing time student let us create a name or ob let us say robot so welcome robot we have created successfully object now let us see what we can do we can call so let first see what is the attendance s1 dot a t t e n d now it is zero so we will call this function and increment the attendance so s1 dot a t t e n d d a y s so he has when he entered the class this method will be called automatically suppose so now let us see the attendance that a t t e n d is one it will be incrementing by one 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 and now let us add the student marks so first let us see is one student one dot marks which is empty now to add we will be calling this method add marks s1 dot add marks and inside that give the values like say in the first subject he got 98 s1 dot add marks this time 75 dot add marks let us say 70 like this we can add all the subject marks into it let us say 65 now let us see s1 dot marks so these are all the marks now if you call the function s1 dot get average you should get the average so this is the average Hope you understood. Keep practicing. We will be looking more into the details in upcoming sessions. So keep practicing.